hello youtube family thank you guys for tuning in and welcome back to my channel for all of my newcomers i am so happy that you're here and you know what i'm about to tell you to do if you have not done so already please click the subscribe button down below i'm not going to tell you to like the video yet like it at the end i think you're going to like it i know you're going to like it i know you're going to love it but without further ado let's get right to the topic because i don't want to talk you guys to death so today we are touching base on something that has been highly demanded it is the reason why i started this channel i have gotten so many inquiries about these how to diy design tutorials yes we are going to be designing today and we are going to be starting the first scrap box challenge okay so i'm starting a scrap box challenge and what i'm gonna do is every week we are going to be doing a scrap box challenge where we take leftover fabric and create them into something very amazing that we can wear and rock out okay so today what i am going to be using is my old carnival costume i don't know if many of you are accustomed to going to carnival and wearing all the glitz and glamour the feathers the diamonds the soca the winding up the shaking of the booty you know it's just like it's such a west indian cultural thing but i know other nationalities have it as well but every year um i play mass in carnival and i spend about like six seven or eight hundred dollars on my costume and then they get broken up and torn apart and I have no use for them anymore so they just been sitting down in my basement for so long and I'm like I can't sell it because it's destroyed um, but I know that the feathers and the diamonds are very costly and if well and properly recycled they can be created into something great so which is what I decided to do in this video today in this video today I am going to show you how to create a ostrich feathered clutch using your leftover scrap box carnival costume okay so i know many people are gonna watch this video and gonna be like oh i should have never thrown this out oh my god look what i could have done with it but the other option is to just go out and buy the materials if you don't have the original material to recycle that's fine as well okay you guys so i just got these pieces from the basement um, there's a lot more pieces because I think it's like a headpiece, a backpack, some leg pieces, etc. And um, it's just too much to bring up all at once. So I'm just going to get started on this amount. So I won't be using the smaller feathers. I'm only going to be using the plumes, which is what we're going to focus on. Um, I really hate to destroy the costume because it was really a beautiful piece. I'll attach um, an image in the video. But it's just worn and torn. Um, I've had it for a few years now. And um, this channel is all about recycling, like I told you. So we're about to just recycle this baby and we're going to turn it into something new. Okay, you guys. So in order to achieve this plume right here, okay, of course you're going to need a large plume if you're recycling or you can do the yardage or the trim and you'll also need some fabric glue or bonding adhesive the one that i like to use is magnetac 809 has a red cover um you can find this on amazon michaels um i'm not too sure about walmart but you know if you go into the fabric district i'm pretty sure it'll be at any fabric associated store and um, it's about like nine or ten bucks. A lot of people like to use E6000, but I per se do not like to just for the simple fact that it's really, really sticky. And what I like about the Magnetac glue is that it just slits right off your hand. Like it dries up very quickly. It doesn't make too much of a mess. And if I use the E6000, it's really harsh on my nails. And it just, it's a lot of mess. So. Okay, I'm going to start you guys off on a new plume so that you guys can see how things are done from beginning to end. I start off by grabbing about Yeah, this is going to be difficult, you guys. <laughs> They're very fragile. So, I start off by grabbing about this many plumes. 
it's a manageable amount for me and it also works well with the design I'm looking to create so I want my plumes to be as fluffy as possible and this just works you can do as little or as much as you can manage and it's at your leisure so I'm gonna start by cutting across just like this across the rim of the feather okay so this is how many plumes I cut across so I'm gonna grab it and just gain control and I'm just gonna structure my plumes pull them up make sure they're like evening up so that when I go to stick them together I don't have any loose plumes falling out of control so now I'm gonna go in with my Magnatac 809 okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste a pea-sized drop. Okay, this glue is getting a little thick, so. Okay, I'm going to place a pea-sized drop right on the tip. Let me see if you guys can see it. And I'm just going to spread the glue across all the feathers in an upward motion. I'm doing this because I want the glue to get inside every single plume so I don't have any loose plumes falling after I plug everything together. So after that is done, I let it dry for about a few seconds, 30 seconds to a minute. Then I start to roll and twist in this formation to bring everything together. And voila, you're done. You just have to let the baby dry just for a few minutes. And then you should be able to get it ready and installed on your garment. The thing I love about this method is that even though I went straight across on a plume, we created this very flowy, lightweight effect grouped together. And it's just something that's really going to sit really beautifully on the dress. So I really would like you guys to comment down below if this was successful for you. I would like to see pictures. You guys can DM me um, on via my Instagram, which I'll list on this video. Or you guys can just drop a comment down below and let me know how it went. I would love to see if this actually worked for you because it's a technique I really, 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 really love to use. And it just adds a lot of drama and style to your garments. So this is a very cool way to just get this feathered look in your wardrobe okay so it's taking me about I'd say a half an hour to 45 minutes to actually accomplish this many what you call it I'll call it ostrich embellishments um, so if you kind of look at them individually I know they're so beautiful mixed up right but I'm going to separate them because I want to create that ombre effect um, but if you look closely this is how the plumes are generated. So I've actually turned this, as you can see where I cut, and I've turned them into this. And that way when they're attached to the garment, they're just going to flow really, really, really beautifully. Like, look at this swirl. So I'm really happy with what we've gotten so far. I do believe that it's just going to take a little more man hours just to like get all the feathers into plumes. And once I've established the quantity and the color range of each quantity that I have, that's when I'm going to develop the design. So I decided to embellish this vintage purse that I got from a pop-up shop last year. But I wore it a few times and we all know that vintage is something that after you wear it once, it's just like you can't wear it again. So I'm just going to... Um, embellish this purse because I really love the structure of it. I love the design. I love the way it fits with an outfit. So I just want to make sure that I maintain the things that I buy and just transform them into something new and see what I can create out of it. So using all the feathers that we've gathered up today, I'm going to create an ombre effect. During this process, you're going to need a glue gun. If you haven't watched my DIY on how to create the embellished diamond sandals yet um check it out i'm gonna list it on the screen below and attach it it's on my channel but you're gonna need a glue gun this is the one i like to use yes it's a little messed up but you'll get the backstory on that video as well but it's the industrial version it gets really really hot 
And this is what I'm gonna use to stick my feathers onto the purse. So, the next time you see this purse, it's gonna look completely different. And I'm going to show you guys the process. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, but um, I'm gonna just take you through the road of how I'm gonna transform this, so stay tuned. I'm going to begin by taking one of my embellishments and I'm going to place a pea-sized amount of glue on the tip. You don't wanna to use too much glue, because it's gonna get very messy and sticky. I'm going to begin placing my embellishments at the very bottom. Let me turn this around so you guys can get a closer look. And I'm going to repeat this method straight across. I'm going to use my scissors to actually place the embellishment down, which is the best way to do so. As I'm gluing, I'm going to begin constructing my design. So I finished the front part and I think it came out very beautiful. So now I'm going to do the back part, but I'm going to do it in the comfort of my own bed, which is how I like to work. And I'm going to come back and show you guys the final product. Finally, I finished her. In the back, I decided to do a nice butterfly design. I have this weird obsession with butterflies now, but I love, 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 love it. And here she is, the final design, as lovely as can be. You see how amazing this was, you guys? I'm so, so happy with the way this came out. Love, love it. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? It's such a cute clutch. It fits right on the shoulder, just like this. Real cute and flirty and sexy. You can't go wrong. Easy to carry. Really. You guys, you guys need to make this. You guys better make this. This is where she opens. So it's functional. You can still use it. It's so cute. Um, I planned on actually changing the strap as well, but if you come a little closer, I think you can see that there's a little color this is like little colored print in the strap that I thought was really cute and I'm like you know since this is cute there's no point in really changing the strap so the only thing we did was cover the frame of this purse and like come on if you seen this purse at any designer store it would be like in the hundreds of dollars or even more like it's like it's great that you can create something that looks high-end designer tear and it didn't even cost you it literally took me only about approximately 30 to 45 minutes to create this purse and I'm excited now because I have a staple piece to wear with almost anything I want being that it's colorful you can kind of like monochrome design it like wear it with a white or a black outfit um, and it can literally go with any of these colors in here or if you're really fashionable and you like to mix your colors This is one of the perfect summer pieces So I'm very excited to wear this I think I'm going to take it to a trip that I'm going on in a few months And the way I'm going to store it is I'm just going to put this in a shoe box Because you want to make sure that you conserve things like these Ostrich feathers cannot 
be dry clean they cannot be washed they cannot be repaired so the second day you kind of get them dusty or messed up or you know it's just bye bye so i've been storing my costumes literally in garment bags plastic bags and making sure that no dust because i know that the feathers are very costly so i definitely did not want them to go to waste and i'm very excited that i decided to do this i have so many feathers left and i'm going to do another video to show you what i do with everything else i have left over and i'm excited to see everyone else's designs like please 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 guys if you're going to do this i need you to do it i know you will because it's absolutely stunning it's every girl's dream purse please dm me your results on instagram i will repost them i'll be so proud of you guys i really would like to see all the different designs you guys created me i kind of just wind it and just went with the flow you guys can sketch prior to you guys can do whatever you want to create any design that you want to do you can even recreate this design like it's all up to you it's all about your own creativity but drop a comment down below in the section let me know how your experience went let me know if you guys play math let me know if you guys have carnival costumes that you've thrown away because I've thrown a few away I only have a few left let me know all the insight that just is relatable to everything that I'm telling you because I know I'm not the only girl so if I can do this you definitely can do this that means do not throw your costumes away and if you have anything else that has feathers or embellishments or anything that just maybe doesn't fit anymore or you don't like it anymore or you've worn it overworn and taken so many pictures in it there's always an opportunity to create something new and I didn't do this with a sewing machine I literally did this with a hot glue gun and an old purse. I actually got this purse um, for eight bucks. I told you guys I got it from a vintage pop-up shop, but I got it for eight dollars at the vintage pop-up shop, and it was one of the best buys because look, look what else I got out of my eight dollars. So um, definitely, if you have stuff that has like anything that you love on it, and it's just like it can be transformed. You know, you can get tired of an old piece, but don't make another man don't make yeah don't what is it oh another man's trash is another man's treasure right let your trash be your treasure okay learn how to recycle learn how to keep things going and flowing because i find that we spend so much money on fast fashion and things that we wear once and we throw away we just this and there's so much that can be done if like if you guys only knew how much how many like how much things i have stored that i've kept just to recreate something new you guys will be like wow like you're a holder but i try to throw things away and give things away but anything that i see with potential i'm just gonna snag it guys i'm very excited to start the design journey with you guys and i have so much in store i will be getting on the sewing machine but I'm also going to be doing tutorials for those who are not sewing so that they can do these handy dandy artsy crafty hands on work without a machine. So make sure you subscribe down below like I said. Make sure you do it. I'm watching you. Subscribe. I said subscribe. 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 Oh but seriously make sure you guys subscribe down below. Drop a comment, show me some love, and I plan on giving you more and more DIY videos. If you guys have not checked out other videos on my channel yet, please go and do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. I gotta name her. So if you guys are like know any type of name that I could possibly use for her, because I like to name my pieces. Drop it down in the comments below and I will rename her if I like the name and I think it's very fitting and suitable. I will I will do so. I will name her that because I haven't gotten a name for her yet. And she's in my sample book. So I definitely need a name. So you guys better help me out with the name. So this is beautiful. And this is this is new vintage. Okay, we went from old vintage to new vintage. Learn how to turn your old things new. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Say, you better subscribe. Mwah. <laughs>